Practice Test 4. Question 1. When conduit or tubing nipples having a maximum length not to exceed 24 inches are installed between boxes and similar enclosures, the fill shall be permitted to 60%. When conduit or tubing nipples having a maximum length not to exceed 24 inches are installed between boxes and similar enclosures, the fill shall be permitted to 60%. Question 2. Power limited fire protective signaling circuit conductors shall be any of the above. Bonded stranded copper, solid copper or bunched in stranded copper. Power limited fire protective signaling circuit conductors shall be any of the above. Bonded stranded copper, solid copper or bunched in stranded copper. Question 3. Equipment enclosed in a case or cabinet that is provided with a way of sealing or locking so that live parts cannot be made accessible without opening the enclosure is said to be Sealable equipment Equipment enclosed in a case or cabinet that is provided with a way of sealing or locking so that live parts cannot be made accessible without opening the enclosure is said to be Sealable equipment Question 4 The following diagram is a standard symbol used on blueprints and represents a thermal element. The following diagram is a standard symbol used on blueprints and represents a thermal element. Question 5. A motor is protected against short circuit and ground fault by an adjustable instantaneous trip circuit breaker that is part of a combination controller having motor overload and short circuit and ground fault protection in each conductor. The setting of the instantaneous trip breaker shall be allowed to exceed through motor full load current by not more than 130% A motor is protected against short circuit and ground fault by an adjustable instantaneous trip circuit breaker that is part of a combination controller having motor overload and short circuit and ground fault protection in each conductor. The setting of the instantaneous trip breaker shall be allowed to exceed through motor full load current by not more than 130% Question 6. A plug fuse of the Edison base has a maximum rating of 30 amperes. A plug fuse of the Edison base has a maximum rating of 30 amperes. Question 7. The minimum headroom of working spaces about motor control centers shall be 6 feet 6 inches. The minimum headroom of working spaces about motor control centers shall be 6 feet 6 inches. Question 8. Conductors larger than number 4 out are measured in circular mills. Conductors larger than number 4 out are measured in circular mills. Question 9. True or false? A service disconnecting means can be installed outside and inside a building at a point that is nearest the point of entrance of the service entrance conductors. True. A service disconnecting means can be installed outside and inside a building at a point that is nearest the point of entrance of the service entrance conductors. True. Question 10. If a metal lighting fixture is located 8 feet vertically or 5 feet horizontally from a kitchen sink, it shall be grounded. If a metal lighting fixture is located 8 feet vertically or 5 feet horizontally from a kitchen sink, it shall be grounded. Question 11. True or false? For temporary wiring over 600 volts, nominal fending or barriers shall be provided access on other than authorized and qualified personnel. False. For temporary wiring over 600 volts, nominal fending or barriers shall be provided access on other than authorized and qualified personnel. False. Question 12. Within 10 feet of any structure, open wiring on insulators shall be insulated or covered. Within 10 feet of any structure, open wiring on insulators shall be insulated or covered. Question 13. The maximum ampere rating of a 4 inch by half inch bus bar is 2000. The maximum ampere rating of a 4 inch by half inch bus bar is 2000. Question 14. The opposite to alternating current in circuit that has resistance, inductance and capacitance is impedance. The opposite to alternating current in circuit that has resistance, inductance and capacitance is impedance. Question 15. What is the maximum size conductor that can be used for an overhead feeder from a residence to remote garage number 10 copper? What is the maximum size conductor that can be used for an overhead feeder from a residence to remote garage number 10 copper? Question 16. 
What size overcurrent protection is required for a 7KW dryer rated for 240 volts when the dryer is located in the laundry room of a multifamily dwelling? Number 10 with a 30 amp breaker. What size overcurrent protection is required for a 7KW dryer rated for 240 volts when the dryer is located in the laundry room of a multifamily dwelling? Number 10 with a 30 amp breaker. Question 17. True or false? The conductor used to ground the outer cover of a coaxial cable shall be insulated number 14 AWG minimum and guarded from physical damage. True. The conductor used to ground the outer cover of a coaxial cable shall be insulated number 14 AWG minimum and guarded from physical damage. True. Question 18. When energized live parts are exposed the minimum clear workspace shall not be less than 6 and a half feet high for over 600 volts. When energized live parts are exposed the minimum clear workspace shall not be less than 6 and a half feet high for over 600 volts. Question 19. Each continuous duty motor of one horsepower not permanently installed and non-automatically started with inside of the controller shall be protected against overload by the branch circuit protective device. Each continuous duty motor of one horsepower, not permanently installed and non-automatically started with inside of the controller shall be protected against overload by the branch circuit protective device. Question 20. True or false? All conductors of class 1 circuit shall be installed in mineral insulated or metal clad cable or rigid metallic or non-metallic conduit or be suitably protected from physical damage where damage to remote control circuits of safety control equipment would be a hazard. True. All conductors of class 1 circuit shall be installed in mineral insulated or metal clad cable or rigid metallic or non-metallic conduit or be suitably protected from physical damage where damage to remote control circuits of safety control equipment would be a hazard. True. Question 21. Straight runs of 1 and a quarter inch rigid metal conduit using threaded couplings can be secures at not more than 14 feet. Straight runs of 1 and a quarter inch rigid metal conduit using threaded couplings can be secures at not more than 14 feet. Question 22. In accordance with electrical code, electrical equipment shall be installed. According to the code, in accordance with electrical code, electrical equipment shall be installed. According to the code. Question 23. The size of an electrical conductor suppling a circuit is decided by all of the above length voltage and amperage the size of an electrical conductor suppling a circuit is decided by all of the above length voltage and amperage question 24 the electrical code uses fine print notes for explanatory notes the electrical code uses fine print notes for explanatory notes question 25 in order to guarantee good electrical continuity, non-conductive coatings on equipment to be grounded shall be removed from contact surfaces. In order to guarantee good electrical continuity, non-conductive coatings on equipment to be grounded shall be removed from contact surfaces. Question 26. Circuit breakers shall be all the above, trip-free, able to be opened and closed manually. Circuit breakers shall be all the above, trip free, able to be opened and closed manually. Question 27. A number 10 AWG solid copper wire has a cross section of 0 .008 square inches. A number 10 AWG solid copper wire has a cross section of 0 .008 square inches. Question 28. Two insulated conductors laid parallel within an outer non-metallic covering are indicated by which of the letters? D. Two insulated conductors laid parallel within an outer non-metallic covering are indicated by which of the letters? D. Question 29. When replacing ballasts in fluorescent light fixtures, what do you do with the ballasts that had to be replaced? Put in recycle bin. When replacing ballasts in fluorescent light fixtures, what do you do with the ballasts that had to be replaced? Put in recycle bin. Question 30. If you are adding a duplex receptacle to a box that is served by a branch circuit, how do you connect the ground conductor? Pigtail new ground to old, and run a ground to the new receptacle. 
If you are adding a duplex receptacle to a box that is served by a branch circuit, how do you connect the ground conductor? Pigtail new ground to old, and run a ground to the new receptacle. Question 31. What is the largest diameter than you can purchase EMT? 4 inch EMT. What is the largest diameter than you can purchase EMT? 4 inch EMT Question 32. If the disconnect switch cannot be seen by the motor operator, which of the following is most correct? The machine I required to be marked as overcurrent protective provided at machine supply terminals. If the disconnect switch cannot be seen by the motor operator, which of the following is most correct? The machine I required to be marked as overcurrent protective provided at machine supply terminals. Question 33. What voltage does an underwater pool light require GFCI? 15 volts. What voltage does an underwater pool light require GFCI? 15 volts. Question 34. Which of the following do you contact if the bid specs have the wrong size conduit? The architect. Which of the following do you contact if the bid specs have the wrong size conduit? The architect. Question 35. What is the minimum working space required for high voltage line without a crane? 10 feet. What is the minimum working space required for high voltage line without a crane? 10 feet. Question 36. The purpose of a pre-bid meeting is to review plans and specifications. The purpose of a pre-bid meeting is to review plans and specifications. Question 37. After completion of the rough electrical work, who should the electrician notify? Building inspector. After completion of the rough electrical work, who should the electrician notify? Building inspector. Question 38. In which of the following cases would it be necessary to have an engineer sign off on a situation on a project? Drilling a 6-inch hole in the second floor of a concrete floor in a parking garage. In which of the following cases would it be necessary to have an engineer sign off on a situation on a project? Drilling a 6-inch hole in the second floor of a concrete floor in a parking garage. Question 39. When there is low current on current. Which of the following would remedy this problem? Increase the wire size. When there is low current on current. Which of the following would remedy this problem? Increase the wire size. Question 40. For a one-family house with an initial computed load of 10 kW or more or where the initial installations has more than 5, 2 wire branch circuits, the service disconnect shall not be less than 100 amperes. For a one-family house with an initial computed load of 10 kW or more or where the initial installations has more than 5, 2 wire branch circuits, the service disconnect shall not be less than 100 amperes. Question 41. Which of the following conductors has one or more layers of non-conducting materials not acknowledged by the code? Covered conductors. Which of the following conductors has one or more layers of non-conducting materials not acknowledged by the code? Covered conductors. Question 42. Enclosures for circuit breakers or switch shall not be used as any of above. Raceways, junction boxes or auxiliary gutters. Enclosures for circuit breakers or switch shall not be used as any of above. Raceways, junction boxes or auxiliary gutters. Question 43. Which of the following provides speed limiting devices? Series motors. Which of the following provides speed limiting devices? Series motors. Question 44. Using the figures, are standard electrical symbols representing crossing conductors? The symbol that represents two conductors crossing and not connecting are both figures 1 and 2. Using the figures, are standard electrical symbols representing crossing conductors? The symbol that represents two conductors crossing and not connecting are both figures 1 and 2. Question 45. An appliance that can be grounded to the grounded conductor is an electric dryer. An appliance that can be grounded to the grounded conductor is an electric dryer. Question 46. The disconnecting means for a motor and controller are allowed within the same enclosure as the controller. The disconnecting means for a motor and controller are allowed within the same enclosure as the controller. Question 47. True or false. 
a 240 volt single phase 100 ampere circuit is installed in a non-metallic raceway and the equipment grounding conductor installed with the circuit must be counted when determining the conductor fill of the raceway. True, a 240 volt single phase 100 ampere circuit is installed in a non-metallic raceway and the equipment grounding conductor installed with the circuit must be counted when determining the conductor fill of the raceway. True. Question 48. Where do you install high voltage conductors in tunnels? Any of above. In MC cable, in rigid conduit or any other metal raceways. Where do you install high voltage conductors in tunnels? Any of above. In MC cable, in rigid conduit or any other metal raceways. Question 49. Equipment or materials with an identifying mark allowed by the authority with the jurisdiction is known as labeled. Equipment or materials with an identifying mark allowed by the authority with the jurisdiction is known as labeled. Question 50. True or false? The grounded conductor of a branch circuit shall be identified by a natural gray or green with yellow color. False. The grounded conductor of a branch circuit shall be identified by a natural gray or green with yellow color. False. Question 51. Standard lamp holders shall have a rating no less than 660 watts, for a circuit operating at less than 50 volts. Standard lamp holders shall have a rating no less than 660 watts, for a circuit operating at less than 50 volts. Question 52. Where fixed multi-outlet assemblies are employed in locations where several appliances are to be used simultaneously, each foot or fraction shall be considered an outlet of not less than 180 VA. Where fixed multi-outlet assemblies are employed in locations where several appliances are to be used simultaneously, each foot or fraction shall be considered an outlet of not less than 180 VA. Question 53. Soft drawn or medium drawn copper lead in conductors for television equipment antenna systems shall be allowed where the maximum span between points of support is less than 35 feet. Soft drawn or medium drawn copper lead in conductors for television equipment antenna systems shall be allowed where the maximum span between points of support is less than 35 feet. Question 54. When is a megometer used? To measure high pressure resistances. When is a megometer used? To measure high pressure resistances. Question 55. Conductors number. 8 or larger, supported on solid knobs shall be securely tied by tie wires having insulation equivalent to that of the open wire. Conductors number. 8 or larger, supported on solid knobs shall be securely tied by tie wires having insulation equivalent to that of the open wire. Question 56. Thermal overload relays are used for the protection of polyphase induction motors and their main purpose is to protect the motor in case of sustained overload. Thermal overload relays are used for the protection of polyphase induction motors and their main purpose is to protect the motor in case of sustained overload. Question 57. Using the figure, switch S1 to the on position, but light L1 will not come on. Voltage across L1 is 120 volts and across S1 is measured to be 0 volts. Why is the light not coming on? The light is burned out. Using the figure, switch S1 to the on position, but light L1 will not come on. Voltage across L1 is 120 volts and across S1 is measured to be 0 volts. Why is the light not coming on? The light is burned out. Question 58. The conductor clearance from windows can be satisfactory if run above the top level of the window. The conductor clearance from windows can be satisfactory if run above the top level of the window. Question 59. In about the same way a spring stores mechanical energy. A capacitor stores energy. In about the same way a spring stores mechanical energy. A capacitor stores energy. Question 60. What is the minimum size conduit allowed if 3 number 4 THWN and 4 number 1 OT THW conductors are installed in a single run of IMB conduit? 2 inches. What is the minimum size conduit allowed if 3 number 4 THWN and 4 number 1 OT THW conductors are installed in a single run of IMB conduit? 2 inches. Question 61. 
a motor controller and branch circuit disconnecting means a 2300 volt motor has a continuous ampere rating of not less than the trip setting of the overload protection device. A motor controller and branch circuit disconnecting means a 2300 volt motor has a continuous ampere rating of not less than the trip setting of the overload protection device. Question 62. Prior to the derating factors needed to be applied, the maximum number of power or lighting conductors that can be installed in a raceway are 3. Prior to the derating factors needed to be applied, the maximum number of power or lighting conductors that can be installed in a raceway are 3. Question 63. What is the maximum size of conduit allowed if 8 number 4 THWN conductors are to be installed in a single run of non-metallic schedule 40 conduit? 1 and a half inch. What is the maximum size of conduit allowed if 8 number 4 THWN conductors are to be installed in a single run of non-metallic schedule 40 conduit? 1 and a half inch. Question 64. Class 1 circuit conductors shall be protected against overcurrent. All of above. Not exceed 7 amperes for number 18. Not exceed 10 amperes for number 10, in accordance with the values specified in Table 310-16 through 310-31 for number 14 or larger. Class 1 circuit conductors shall be protected against overcurrent. All of above. Not exceed 7 amperes for number 18. Not exceed 10 amperes for number 10 in accordance with the values specified in Table 310-16 through 310-31 for number 14 or larger. Question 65. A fuse will work on either AC or DC, because fuses are rated by both amperage and voltage. A fuse will work on either AC or DC, because fuses are rated by both amperage and voltage. Question 66. In the figure, the 240 volts single phase feeder supplies a branch circuit panel that has an improperly balanced load of 57 amperes on one ungrounded conductor and 45 amperes on the other ungrounded conductor has a load on the grounded conductor of 12 amperes. In the figure, the 240 volts single phase feeder supplies a branch circuit panel that has an improperly balanced load of 57 amperes on one ungrounded conductor and 45 amperes on the other ungrounded conductor has a load on the grounded conductor of 12 amperes. Question 67. A standby generator at a hospital will restore electric power within 10 seconds of a power interruption. Electrical code 517. A standby generator at a hospital will restore electric power within 10 seconds of a power interruption. Electrical code 517. Question 68. Using the figure, how many smoke detectors are needed? Five smokes detectors. Using the figure, how many smoke detectors are needed? Five smokes detectors. Question 69. A standby generator is turned on after a power failure by which device? Transfer switch. Electrical code 517. A standby generator is turned on after a power failure by which device? Transfer switch. Electrical code 517. Question 70. Receptacle installed in garages must be at least 18 inches from the floor. Receptacle installed in garages must be at least 18 inches from the floor. Question 71. In a 440 square foot room, you have 20 fluorescent fixtures at 180 VA each. How many 120 volt 20 amp circuits would be needed? Two circuits. In a 440 square foot room, you have 20 fluorescent fixtures at 180 VA each. How many 120 volt 20 amp circuits would be needed? Two circuits. Question 72. You are asked to remodel an office in a seven-story building and you are wiring a partition wall. What type of wiring would you use? EMT conduit. You are asked to remodel an office in a seven-story building and you are wiring a partition wall. What type of wiring would you use? EMT conduit. Question 73. What colors are normally used for 480 volt wiring? Brown, orange and yellow boy. What colors are normally used for 480 volt wiring? 
brown, orange, and yellow boy. Question 74. How do you check your voltage across phases? A to B. B to C. C to A. How do you check your voltage across phases? A to B. B to C. C to A. Question 75. A drawing calls for three duplex receptacles on a wall. The wall is glass from floor to ceiling. What do you do? Install three approved receptacles near the wall. A drawing calls for three duplex receptacles on a wall. The wall is glass from floor to ceiling. What do you do? Install three approved receptacles near the wall. Question 76. When bidding a job, you discover a major discrepancy between the prints and the specs. What do you do? Write an RFI to the architect. When bidding a job, you discover a major discrepancy between the prints and the specs. What do you do? Write an RFI to the architect. Question 77. Using the figure, the correct connection for the two 120 volt lights to the single pole switch would be 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4 and 7. Using the figure, the correct connection for the two 120 volt lights to the single pole switch would be 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4 and 7. Question 78. A 100 kV A2400 120 volt transformer will carry at a full load on the secondary current of 832 amps. A 100 kV A2400 120 volt transformer will carry at a full load on the secondary current of 832 amps. Question 79. A 100 kV A2400 120 volt transformer will carry at a full load on the primary current of 41.6 amps. A 100 kV A2400 120 volt transformer will carry at a full load on the primary current of 41.6 amps. Question 80. Which black wire can be used as a ground conductor, if green tape is placed on it? Number 6. Electrical Code 310.12, B. Which black wire can be used as a ground conductor, if green tape is placed on it? Number 6. Electrical Code 310.12, B. Question 81. The kitchen duplex outlet in the figure below at the end of the peninsula would be wired with metallic cable. The kitchen duplex outlet in the figure below at the end of the peninsula would be wired with metallic cable. Question 82. On the house plans how many three-way switches are required? 3. On the house plans how many three-way switches are required? 3. Question 83. On the house plan how many 120 volt receptacles require a gram FCI breaker? 21 grams FI. On the house plan how many 120 volt receptacles require a gram FCI breaker? 21 grams FI. Question 84. On the house plan, how many smoke detectors re required? 5 smoke detectors. How many backup batteries for the smoke detectors? 5. On the house plan, how many smoke detectors re required? 5 smoke detectors. How many backup batteries for the smoke detectors? 5. Question 85. On the house plan, what is the minimum amount of outlets required by code in bathroom 2? 4 outlets. On the house plan, what is the minimum amount of outlets required by code in bathroom 2? 4 outlets. Question 86. On the house plans, how many regular 120 volt receptacles are required if each receptacle that requires GFCI is controlled at the receptacle? 38. On the house plans, how many regular 120 volt receptacles are required if each receptacle that requires GFCI is controlled at the receptacle? 38. Question 87. How many two gang plaster rings are required? 5. How many two gang plaster rings are required? 5. Question 88. How would you ground a 480 volt 208? 120 volt transformer in a metal building? Attach a ground rod to the streel structure. How would you ground a 480 volt 208? 120 volt transformer in a metal building? 
attach a ground rod to the streel structure. Question 89. An overcurrent protective device with a circuit opening fusible part that is heated and severed by the passage of overcurrent through it is called a fuse. An overcurrent protective device with a circuit opening fusible part that is heated and severed by the passage of overcurrent through it is called a fuse. Question 90. Using the figure, what do line 6 and 7 represent? Feeders. Using the figure, what do line 6 and 7 represent? Feeders. Question 91. Using the figure, what is line 1 called? Bonding jumper. Using the figure, what is line 1 called? Bonding jumper. Question 92. Using the figure, what are ground enumerators? 2. 3 and 4. Using the figure, what are ground enumerators? 2. 3 and 4. Question 93. Using the figure, what is line 3 called? Ground wire. Using the figure, what is line 3 called? Ground wire. Question 94. On a 4-wire delta connected secondary, where the midpoint of one phase winding is grounded to supply lighting, the phase conductor having the higher voltage to ground will be colored. Delta high leg is orange. On a 4-wire delta connected secondary, where the midpoint of one phase winding is grounded to supply lighting, the phase conductor having the higher voltage to ground will be colored. Delta high leg is orange. Question 95. You check your loads on a three-phase panel and phase A has a load of 180 amps, phase B has 145 amps, phase C has 175 amps. What would you do to phase balance the load? Move 10 amps from phase A to B and move 5 amps from B to C. You check your loads on a three-phase panel and phase A has a load of 180 amps, phase B has 145 amps, phase C has 175 amps. What would you do to phase balance the load? Move 10 amps from phase A to B and move 5 amps from B to C. Question 96. Who determines the rule of working in an underground vault 480 volt 1000 amp service? Electrical code. Who determines the rule of working in an underground vault 480 volt 1000 amp service? Electrical code. Question 97. A drawing includes a multi-conductor for a communication project requiring it to have conduit, even though the conduit size is not shown. How should the estimate be prepared? Calculate the use of conduit and size from the electrical code. A drawing includes a multi-conductor for a communication project requiring it to have conduit, even though the conduit size is not shown. How should the estimate be prepared? Calculate the use of conduit and size from the electrical code. Question 98. The location of a wall receptacle outlet in the bathroom of a dwelling shall be installed within 36 inches of outside edge of basin. Electrical Code V. 21052D. The location of a wall receptacle outlet in the bathroom of a dwelling shall be installed within 36 inches of outside edge of basin. Electrical Code V. 21052D. Question 99. What is the minimum height the service entrance is allowed above the garage roof? 8 feet. What is the minimum height the service entrance is allowed above the garage roof? 8 feet. Question 100. On a building plan, if you add a service to building 2 from building 1, no ground would be necessary if building 2 already has its own ground. On a building plan, if you add a service to building 2 from building 1, no ground would be necessary if building 2 already has its own ground. Question 101. The service conductors between the terminals of the service equipment and a point generally outside of the building. Clear of the building walls, where joined by tap or splice to the service drop is called the service drop entrance conductors. The service conductors between the terminals of the service equipment and a point generally outside of the building. Clear of the building walls, where joined by tap or splice to the service drop is called the service drop entrance conductors. Question 102. What is the minimum number of GFCI circuits required, if breaker control is at the service panel? Some GFCI will still be at the receptacle, three circuits. One for garage, one for both bathrooms, and one for exterior. How many receptacle boxes will still have GFCI receptacles in them? 
8. What is the minimum number of GFCI circuits required, if breaker control is at the service panel? Some GFCI will still be at the receptacle, 3 circuits. 1 for garage, 1 for both bathrooms, and 1 for exterior. How many receptacle boxes will still have GFCI receptacles in them? 8. Question 103. When connecting a network of computers, which cable do you use? Category 5 Cable When connecting a network of computers, which cable do you use? Category 5 Cable Question 104 What is the smallest ground wire you can use on equipment 5 feet from the inside of the pool wall? Number 8 What is the smallest ground wire you can use on equipment 5 feet from the inside of the pool wall? Number 8 Question 105 you have a service call on a house built between 1965 and 1972 and the owner is concerned about one of the outlets was arcing inside the box last night. What do you suspect caused this? Aluminum wiring to the CU outlet. You have a service call on a house built between 1965 and 1972 and the owner is concerned about one of the outlets was arcing inside the box last night. What do you suspect caused this? Aluminum wiring to the CU outlet. Question 106. What is the minimum size wire that you can use on a 9KW oven? Number 8. What is the minimum size wire that you can use on a 9KW oven? Number 8. Question 107. What is the name of the central smoke alarm unit that the soak detectors are hooked up to? Fire alarm panel. What is the name of the central smoke alarm unit that the soak detectors are hooked up to? Fire alarm panel. Question 108. Labeled equipment or materials are acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. Labeled equipment or materials are acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. Question 109. What is the process used to detect gas when entering a trench? Gas sniff tester. What is the process used to detect gas when entering a trench? Gas sniff tester. Question 110. On a large commercial job, before turning the power on who do you contact? The inspector, who then contacts the electric company. On a large commercial job, before turning the power on who do you contact? The inspector, who then contacts the electric company. Question 111. What would be the first step in diagnosing the problem if a conveyor belt the first section is running fine but the second section higher up has stopped? Check the reset button. What would be the first step in diagnosing the problem if a conveyor belt the first section is running fine but the second section higher up has stopped? Check the reset button. Question 112. In a kitchen, countertop outlets should be spaced a maximum of how far apart? 48 inches. In a kitchen, countertop outlets should be spaced a maximum of how far apart? 48 inches. Question 113. The code as to temporary power service requirements is a disconnect below the service meter. The code as to temporary power service requirements is a disconnect below the service meter. Question 114. A 20 hours P induction motor has a full load current of 54 amps on a 240 volt circuit with a phase angle of 30 degrees. What is the apparent power of the motor? 22,450. A 20 hours P induction motor has a full load current of 54 amps on a 240 volt circuit with a phase angle of 30 degrees. What is the apparent power of the motor? 22,450. Question 115. A standby generator at a hospital will restore electric power within 10 seconds of power interruption. Electric code 517. A standby generator at a hospital will restore electric power within 10 seconds of power interruption. Electric code 517. Question 116. If a new circuit has been just wired and went turning on a switch, the light bulb burns brightly for a second and then goes out. What is the cause? The light bulb burned out. If a new circuit has been just wired and went turning on a switch, the light bulb burns brightly for a second and then goes out. What is the cause? The light bulb burned out. Question 117. In the figure below, 
The 240 volts single phase feeder supplies a branch circuit panel that has an improperly balanced load of 57 amperes on one ungrounded conductor and 45 amperes on the other ungrounded conductor, then the grounded conductor has a load of 12 amperes. In the figure below, the 240 volts single phase feeder supplies a branch circuit panel that has an improperly balanced load of 57 amperes on one ungrounded conductor and 45 amperes on the other ungrounded conductor, then the grounded conductor has a load of 12 amperes.